Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for coming here to watch this video. As you guys saw in the title, I will be pressing my first mug in the Cricut Mug Press. I am going to be making a sublimation mug. So I do have my photo and everything ready to go. And I did create my design in Pixar as I always do. So now all I have to do is print it off and sublimate it onto a cup. If you're wanting to learn to sublimate a mug in a Cricut mug press, just keep on watching. Once again, this is my first time sublimating a mug. We'll see how it goes. I hope it turns out really cute. I'm super excited to try out this mug press. I've been wanting it forever. And if you guys watched my last video, you guys saw that Rob bought this for my birthday. It is kind of an early birthday present, but I am super excited to start sublimating mugs for fall, for Halloween, and also for Christmas. Hopefully this turns out really well. Hopefully it's pretty simple. And let's go ahead and get started. And today I'm going to be using the eight and a half by 11 sublimation paper. And this is the A sub sublimation paper. I do buy it off of Amazon and I will be leaving those links down below for you guys. But yeah, today we are going to be using the eight and a half by 11 since it is a mug and it's going to be a smaller print. And most of you guys that are already subscribed, you guys know we use the Epson ET15000. And today, since we are using the eight and a half by 11 paper, it is going to load into the bottom tray. And the A sub words are gonna be facing up toward you. The white part is going to be down. And right now I have you on my phone. And like I said, I did design this graphic in Pixar. Let me show you what the app looks like. It's right up here in the right hand corner and it's purple and blue and it says Pixart. And I just designed it inside that app. I saved it to my phone and we do use Apple. So I'm just gonna go ahead and airdrop it over to my computer. And I went ahead and opened up Cricut Design Space. Then you just want to scroll down and it says Cricut Mug Press. And we're just gonna go ahead and click Mug Design Setup. And then at the bottom you see Customize and the size of mug that we are going to be using. Since it's my first mug and I just wanna see how it goes, I'm gonna go with the small Cricut mug, which is the small straight edge 12 ounce mug. And so that's what we're gonna click. So yeah, we have the small straight edge 12 ounce mug selected, customize. Okay, and here's our template right here. And this is what it looks like over here. This is just my template. I am going to make each of those invisible after I get my design on it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and upload image and we're just gonna be uploading the image I just sent over. Let's go ahead and click upload image. It says drag and drop file here or browse. So you can browse your image. You'll just have to type in the number for that image. I'm going to make it easy for me and I'm going to just drag and drop. So I'm gonna click my image and drop it. I always select complex, continue to select an erase. So if there's anything that you wanted to take off of the image, you could, you can over here. And I really like how it is already, so I don't have to do any editing. So I'm gonna go ahead and say continue. And I'm gonna go ahead and expand the screen. You guys already know we're going to print and cut. I'm gonna go ahead and click print then cut. Down here it says upload. And you wanna go ahead and click the image. We already have an artboard open and we're going to go ahead and say insert image. And here it is right here. Obviously it's way too huge. So I'm going to go ahead and resize it up here. Since it is locked right here, you can just change the width right here and it will automatically keep it in proportion. So I'm just going to go ahead and shrink it down to like eight inches and then say enter and it automatically keeps it in proportion. So eight by four. And now that I have it small enough, I am going to be unlocking. So you wanna go ahead and unlock the image. Once you have that image unlocked, you can just use this resizing button and just stretch it out to the width and height that you need it. And I'm going to be making these red cups invisible and also this outline and the teal background will all be invisible. But right now we're just trying to get the right size. Go ahead and stretch it all the way out. To the width that you need it and you're basically just wanting it to be the same size as this blue piece or this teal piece back here this right here tells you what part of the mug it's going to be at so this right here is the center of your mug one side of your mug and the other side of your mug and i think that looks pretty good so i'm going to go ahead and go right over here we have our print then cut then we have this basic cut i'm going to go ahead and make all those pieces invisible so the small mug wrap the small mug wrap and this right here. We're gonna make it all invisible. Only one that is visible is going to be this print and cut. And I'm gonna go ahead and click make it. So 
So over to the left, we have one copy, print and cut. Material size is eight and a half by 11. And we want a mirror. Always do mirror if you're doing sublimation because you don't want your letters to come out backward. And we do have the word it on here. So I do have to make sure that it is mirrored. And now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna click continue. Print and cut, eight and a half by 11. Mirror on. Send to printer. And we have the Epson ET15000, one copy. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the bleed. And I am going to go ahead and select Use System Dialog. We're gonna go ahead and click Print. Okay, and so here's our normal options that I always show you guys in my videos. And we have the Epson ET15000, the default settings, media quality, best, layout. We already flipped it horizontally, so we don't have to do that again. Paper handling, scale to fit paper size. We don't have to do cover page, watermark, or supply levels. And I think it's ready. Then click print. Looks like it came out really nice. And the next step is to put it onto the blue light grip mat and cut it with the Cricut machine. Do you want to let it sit out and dry so that it doesn't get ink on the Cricut machine? I am gonna go ahead and set it aside and let it dry for about 15 to 20 minutes. Then I will put it on the mat and we will go ahead and cut it out. On the computer right now it says printed, base material set to iron on. Obviously we're not gonna do iron on. This is a sublimation print and we are cutting on a sublimation paper. It says adjust dial to desired material. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys over to the Cricut and we're gonna select a paper material. Instead of just putting it on the paper selection on the dialog, I am gonna go ahead and click custom or set it over to custom. And I'm gonna go back to the computer and pick a better selection. So you have all your materials right here, heavy patterned paper, light pattern paper, and then construction paper as well. And I'm just gonna click this right over here, browse all paper or browse all materials and just see what all there is. And here we have all of our paper materials. So we have construction, copy, deluxe paper. And I'm just gonna go with laser copy paper because that's what I've heard most people cut theirs on. So we're gonna go ahead and click laser copy paper. Done. And so that's all selected. It says printed. It says custom material set to laser copy. Now that I let my print dry a little bit, I am gonna go ahead and put it on the mat. So guys, I did have to go back and cut it on cardstock. So hopefully, yep. So when you go to settings on the Cricut, be sure to cut it out on cardstock because it will cut this out a lot better. You guys can see it's coming off of the image perfectly. Lug press has already been preheating, so it should be ready by the time I get it all cleaned up and get the image taped to the cup. So I am gonna go ahead and clean off the cup, put the image on the cup and tape our butcher paper on. I'm just gonna clean off the mug, just make sure there's nothing on it. And you want to use butcher paper instead of the parchment paper because you need that butcher paper to soak up any of the moisture that is in between the cup and paper and just from the ink and gases on a sublimation print. And you just want to make sure that you are centering your image on this cup. It just needs to be centered like this. The paper is flush with the bottom of the cup. We're gonna tape right here and right here. And this is just some regular heat tape. Um, it's actually the Cricut brand heat tape. And it looks like it's all taped down really tight. I might put one more piece right there and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it in butcher paper. I just cut this little strip of butcher paper and it fits perfectly around the mug and it is okay if it stands up a little bit taller than the mug. And I just want it to be flush with the bottom of the mug. So at the end of the print and the bottom of the cup, anywhere that your sublimation print is, you want it to be covered with the butcher paper. So I'm just gonna make sure all of that is covered. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and tape on this butcher paper where it's nice and flush with the bottom of the cup. And I think we're all ready to go. I just 
put a lot of tape on there. Um, you may not need that much. This is my first bug, so hopefully it comes out really nice. And it turned off on me. Probably got too hot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my mug in there and make sure that this blue part is covering all of the print area. So hopefully I can see where the print is. I think it said it was gonna press for about five minutes, so it should go off when it's ready. I don't know what that means, but we'll see. I'm having one small problem. The Cricut keeps turning off, or the Cricut mug press keeps turning off on me. And I don't know if it got too hot or what, but um, yeah, I'm kind of mad because my cup is in there ready to go and it just keeps shutting off. So the button just turned green again, so I don't know why it turned red and then turned off. Now it's turned back on. So I honestly don't know if the cup is done right now or if I should wait a little bit. So I'm gonna give it like a few more minutes. The paper is turning kind of brown. So I'm wondering if I should go ahead and just take it off. Let me grab a towel to take this out. It hasn't been 15 or 20 minutes yet, but I'm just too impatient and I wanna see if it actually came out right. So I'm gonna try to use this um, Cricut tool to take off this paper right now. I think it came out super super cute and it actually came out really really good actually I did find one problem and that was right here I don't know if you guys can see where it kind of turned yellow right there on the very corner or on the very edge right here maybe the paper wasn't that tight right there maybe there was a bubble it didn't come out too bad let me know down in the comments what you guys think of my first mug 